My name is Eric Mati. I directed Quaresma. Quaresma, I've always been a fan of horror films that has a lot of dread in it, dread. Yung, yung parang, there's a lot of things that you don't understand as you're starting the movie. So slowly nag unravel lang. But, you, but while watching it, kahit hindi mo masyado naintindihan, parang alam mo may hindi maganda kang mangyayari. No? Uh, because almost always, I don't just think in terms of story. I then think about it in terms of what kind of cinema it is, what kind of film it is. Yes, I can do this type of films, but is the audience gonna be interested in watching such films? I'm not just thinking about the story, I'm not just thinking sino artista. I have several things that I put into context before I embark on a particular film. The story of Quaresma mirrors the real-life horrors of women experiencing domestic violence. Exactly! I think I think I made a big number of identifying it. Uh, thematically, my films have been about that as well. It started with the Japanese comfort women, the military atrocities during the martial law, and y yes, yes, it, it is. It is really supporting that all the way. Butterflies were used as a motif in film because the short life of the butterfly closely represents the process of spiritual transformation. Hindi ko naisip yan. Maybe it's connected to, to the conspiracy theory. It's really connected to how a butterfly starts out as a larva, becomes a caterpillar, and then transforms into a butterfly. In the movie itself, you have Louise transforming into a man from a woman, but it's the opposite process. Parang paatras yung, parang lalong pumangit yung sitwasyon niya dahil, dahil ganon. So it provides that that kind of um, metaphor and also irony in the film. The dog in the film was Azarel's other form. Um, all throughout the film, I've only hinted on the demon because prior to that, I wanted it to be about the domestic abuse, the horror of the domestic abuse. Then, I need to bring in uh, the, the devil in the film. I used a dog pet in the beginning and then slowly transformed the dog into a into the medium of Azazel before it jumps into John Arcelia's character, Arturo. Yeah. Before Arturo tortures his daughter, Louise, he already made a coffin for her. Yes! Uh, that's the reason why I established Arturo to be to be a crafty uh, father. Eventually, it transforms into something that is part of the story. At the time that he gets really crazy, he already starts thinking of making a coffin for her his daughter. The setting of the film is in the 80s, which was also the last years of Marcos rule. It was shown in the film through taking down Arturo as the ruler of the family. Yes. Definitely, yes. Para ma kwento ko yung kwento ng Marcos story na yan, I needed to bring out the atrocities that happened to the women. A lot of the things you see in films are not accidents. It's not like, ay kailangan natin ng may lalabas sa TV. Maglagay lang tayo ng kahit ano na TV show na lumalabas no 1985. Uh, that one also comments on the thematics of the film. At the end of the film, Luisa didn't say a word because she was still possessed by Azarel. Yes, it can be said that the, that the demon moved into him, into her. I wanted it to be a little bit more ambiguous. I used the, the nuance of Arturo. Ang ginawa ko sa dulo, pinamimik ko lang kay Luisa yung ginagawa ni Arturo. Giving, giving the audience a hint na, okay, this may not yet be over. Uh, my only message is, because times are difficult and hard, is that you continue watching Filipino films. Pay whenever you can. Don't ask for free stuff. Ang hilig-hilig ng mga Pinoy na manonood, di naman lahat, na gusto nila libre lahat ng papanoorin nila. Paano naman kami gagawa ng pelikula namin kung puro libre yan? I hope you continue watching Filipino films. Continue, as in, ngayon medyo hindi natin alam anong mangyayari sa atin, pero eventually, I hope we could recover from this and continue making all the films and showing it in the cinemas and on online. Uh, everyone watching this, 
everyone who loves movies, please follow Sine Panghalina in IG, Facebook. Please go and see Sine Panghalina and find out more about Filipino film. Oh, 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 oh,